welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel in the first place. Today we have a show to see X listener and if I sound tired, it's because I am. The energy is quite low in the studio today. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's my tired brain. <laughs> Let's just get into it. You stumble through the doors of your classroom, letting out a heavy breath as your bag slid from your shoulder and dropped to the ground beside you. It took a moment to register the many pairs of eyes that had landed on you as you stood in front of your classmates, who had seemingly just gotten settled into their seats and started class. Aizawa sighed loudly as he turned his attention to you, drowning out the laughter from your classmates. You're late, listener, mumbled this scruffy man. I know, and I'm really sorry. You sighed, trying to hide your embarrassed face from you as you picked up your bag in your arms and walked to your seat hitting Kaminari on the head as you passed him to snap out of his fit of laughter, hearing a small ow in response. You sunk into your chair, dropping your bag next to you as you tried to zone out as your homeroom teacher went over what you missed, which admittedly wasn't much. Just the role and summary of what UA had up to offer in terms of classes that day. As present Mike took over the class, going through your previous lesson and getting into the new one, you felt a small tap on your shoulder. Against your better judgment, you turned to see your classmate Shoji next to you. That was his usual seat, so why were you so surprised? You didn't know. It just felt so out of character for him to disturb you during the lesson. His eyes drifted to the front of the room and then back to you a couple of times. You were about ready to ask him why he had disturbed you when one of his arms slipped in a small note onto your desk. You looked at him puzzled. The mask covering most of his face, so it was hard to tell exactly how he felt and you suppose the mask didn't matter. You had spent a lot of time together recently, and he was always almost impossible to read. In fact, at times it was honestly quite scary. You were usually really good at reading people, but him, you just couldn't seem to understand. Listener, present Mike called on you. Oh, sorry, uh, I zoned out. You said with a small laugh as you shoved the note into your pencil case. You would check it out later. Maybe once you got back to the dorms? Could you tell me which sentence here is incorrect? Oh, uh, alright, um, <laughs> see? The loud blonde nodded and gave you a big thumbs up. Yep. You let out a small sigh of relief, settling back into your seat, eyes wandering to the tall boy next to you. The bell rang out loudly, making you jump halfway out of your seat. Finally, the school day was over and you could get out of class and shower. Hero training was always the most fun and exhausting part of the day. But at this particular point in time, all you wanted to do was go back to your room and shower. Scooping up your stuff, you swung your bag onto your back, but you were met with Shoji looking down on you. Oh, <laughs> hey Shoji, you laughed, tilting your head up, staring at his blank expression. Did you read my note? He asked, his voice lower than usual. Oh, damn it, sorry, it's in my pencil case. I can read it now, or you can just tell me. No, no, it's okay, I'll see you soon. He waved goodbye before turning and leaving. You were slightly confused. He was never this quiet, but something about it made you happy to see him expressing himself and proving to you that he did have emotions. Emotions. What kind of emotions? The rational and idealistic parts of your mind had conflicting opinions on what his emotions might really be. This feeling came from nowhere and you didn't really know how to push it away. Luckily, you were experienced in keeping your composure, whether that be angry or the slowly increasing warm feeling on your cheeks. Pushing the feeling aside as you slipped out of the classroom, holding the sides of your face as soon as you were out of sight from anyone you knew. You hurried into your room ahead of your classmates and immediately hopped into the shower. Showering had always made you feel better, washing off the grit and grime and troubles of the day. Slipping into clothes, you went to unpack your school bag for the evening. Your mind was running as you tried to focus. You had homework to do. Plus, Shoji's note. You almost forgot about it because of how distracted you had been. You grabbed your pencil case from your bag and pulled the gently folded paper from inside. It was surprising that such a big guy like him could be so gentle. Fingers shaking slightly, you pushed open the folds until a few small words were visible. Meet me on the roof? Your heart tightened as you brushed your fingers over his carefully written words. His handwriting was neat. Neater than pretty much anyone expected, including you. You stuffed the note in your pocket of your sweatpants, looking towards your door. Wait, has Shoshi been waiting for me this entire time? You cursed on your breath and rushed out of your room, jumping into the elevator and waiting as it slowly, very slowly, made its way to the roof. It was a painful ride, and by the time you arrived, your frantic heart was beating dangerously loudly in your ears. 
Looking out across the roof, the tall boy was there, sitting on one of the blocks of concrete. When the elevator opened, he looked towards you. You hurried over to him, almost tripping as you stopped in front of him, huffing and doubled over, hands on your knees. I'm so sorry, the words escaped from your mouth, followed by more heavy breathing. It's alright, are you okay? You nodded, lifting yourself up and exhaling loudly. I'm alright. <sighs> he nodded, his eyes looking up to the side, avoiding your own gaze. The two of you had come up here before, just sitting and laughing with a few others, but something was definitely different today. You didn't know what exactly. So, I suppose you're wondering why I asked you up here alone. That was very true. You were. But you weren't exactly sure how to ask. Well, yeah, but I like you. I wasn't sure how to tell you, but being up front and, you know, kind of just spitting it out seemed easiest. Your heart jumped at his words. You had no idea how to respond to that. Was he really confessing? Right here? Right now? But why now and why me? Well, uh, right now because our classmates are out of the way, and as for you, you're strong and you know how to protect yourself. You stand up for others when the things are going too far. And I just think that's really admirable. And that was enough for you to throw yourself at his chest and wrap your arms around him. Shoji. Mezzo, he corrected, looking down at you and wrapping you in his arms. Uh, Mezzo, I really like you too, and I really appreciate that. He seemed slightly taken aback by your response, almost like you didn't expect a positive one. For the first time, you saw an emotion in his face that you could pin. He was smiling. Definitely. Even if his face was covered, you could just tell. Alright, so that's the end of this one. I hope uh, there wasn't too much background noise. My sister is above me. Um, by that, I mean on the next floor above. And she is pushing around chairs on the tile flooring. And um, <laughs> she's like, she's younger than you. So, you know, uh, she does what she wants to do and gets away with it. <laughs> Either way, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry about the low energy. Um, I'm going to try and get back onto the normal posting schedule. I believe requests are filled up and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, you can still leave them below, and if there is one, like extra space or something, I will put it in. Um, either way, I hope you enjoyed. Um, music link, fanfic link are both in the description, as well as my Discord username. Um, you should be able to DM me if you want to join the newer server that we have that's not like just with the link. Um, you can go ahead and do that, but I will be changing the way you get in soon. Either way, goodbye!